Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to just degrease this. And I'm going to use this uh, kind of a multi purpose panel wipe here. And uh, again, I'm, I'm holding the badge in the in the hubcap uh, really just to just to, to keep it steady. And uh, we'll go in now with the um, the panel wipe. And we want to make sure that we've got all of the the debris and everything out of there uh, because we don't want any inclusion uh, when we come to paint that. So we just want to make sure that that's completely clean, which it is there. And uh, we can now give that a wipe over with some clean paper towel. And that is now ready for masking. So we can get masking now. Now, um, what I would recommend is that you would leave the disc in the hubcap. And what we're going to do is we're going to tape right the way across. Now, um, when we come to actually paint it, when we come to remove the disc, what we can do is we can just cut around here. Um, but it just makes it so much easier. And you've just got a natural uh, sort of holding jig. So, um, and also I would recommend is that we tape the lower half of the um, of the badge first. Now the reason for that is is because this bit here to get this out of here is relatively easy, but the detail at the top here on the uh, on the Viking's head and also you know his wings on his helmet and things like that is really quite tricky. And um, you might have two maybe three attempts at that. So if you do it the other way around where you put this on first it means that you've got to take the whole lot off at least what we can do is we can just actually just take the top half off um, on there and uh, so there we are and we can just overlap this our masking tape now on. Now I'm just going to use the kitchen towel again because what we want to make sure is that we've got a right good bond of the masking tape onto the actual badge. And there we are. I would say that that's masked off now. Okay, now, so what we can do is we can start the cutting out process. And, uh, and this really is just, we've just got to do it by eye. And um, this particular badge has got good definition. Um, some of the badges are so worn that um, you, the, the, you know, the, the, these sort of, these edges aren't particularly sharp and it's very, very difficult to, to run the modeling knife uh, along this. But what we're going to do is we're going to just follow the, the shape of the of the longboat down here. And this is what I was saying about using a, a pencil. Um, if you we could just take a, a sort of a rubbing of this, uh, it doesn't really matter how you do it, but you can take a little rubbing there, and what it will do is it will just define the line. Doesn't need to be much. It's just so we can see the, uh, just see it so we can see the detail there. And this is where you need a slightly steady hand. And if we just come down, just very, very carefully. This one really is the tricky one. This 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 little detail here is quite uh, quite difficult to get out. Um, but what we can do is we can um, we can start um, pulling off the masking, start, start sort of picking it out, and then we can just trim it as as we need it. And we 
This is where we come to our mug now. Now what I'd recommend we do here is if we just get a bit of masking tape and uh, we just fold it in half like this and kind of just do it inside out. And we'll stick that just on there like that. And what it'll do is it'll stop the, uh, the mug, <laughs> our template as it were, uh, from sliding around because this tape is is uh, is quite slippy. I'll just pop that on there like that. Now, what you've got to do now is you've got to eye this up. Uh, just get this eyeballed into the centre. This is nothing worse than a whole lot being off centre. And I think that is about there at that. Let me just tell you about that. There we are. And we can remove this now. So what we can do now is we can just relieve the area that we want the paint and uh, hopefully if we've got this right And that is now, apart from just cutting this out, that pretty much is as ready for painting. And we'll just making sure that we leave plenty on around the edge. That's now ready for painting. So let's get painting. Now I knew I'd find a use for that. Now what I recommend when we uh, when we start painting this is just to lay it on in very very uh, light coat. Um, what we don't want to do is, to, is to, to, to overload it because what will happen is that the solvent in the paint will kind of attack the uh, glue in the in the masking tape and it will just start to creep underneath. So um, we just want to just lay this on, um, flash it on in just, just very very uh, thin coats, let it dry for a bit and then uh, then just go back and then and then just, just keep adding a little bit at a time and we don't need to put a huge amount of paint on this anyway but here goes
I'm just going to finish this off just by hand now. I uh, just want to make sure that I've got all of the edges um, taken into account. So this is our little disc badge painted now. So this is this is where we actually find out how well we've done, how good our masking has been. Now, if you don't get it right first time, uh, there's always a second or a third. Um, and don't get me wrong, this is not an exact science. Um, this is really only a suggestion. But what we can do now is we can do the big reveal and just see how well we did. So we'll just mount this back in the hubcap again, uh, like that, and then we'll get our our Stanley knife. What will we start with first? Let's start with the uh, the edge first. I'll just hold this down. If I do say so myself, that's not too bad, actually. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll just go in and we'll just lift the, the main feature. scrape that off there we go and there is our center cap badge uh, the only thing I need to do now is just um, lacquer it and uh, which I'll go across and, and just do that right now and uh, I'll come back to you once uh, once I've got that lacquered so here we are back at the bench and uh, this is our newly lacquered uh, badge and uh, I think you can see there that uh, that's a nice finish on it actually I'm, I'm quite pleased with that what you've got to remember of course is that um, you know you're looking at it from about six inches away but once it's on the car um, any sort of uh, slight hairy edges uh, that might be on there just disappear you just don't see them uh, but there'll be somebody who gets really close up you know and, uh, and says oh look Anyway, um, so that's it back in the uh, back in the hubcap there. So, um, so there we are. So um, anyway, this came in really handy. Um, so uh, I, I don't know why Blue Peter didn't uh, patent this, uh, but um, that was handy. Uh, I'll keep that in my toolbox. Um, and there we are. So um, that's it done. And a, uh, I think the next time uh, I might do one of these uh, is when I get um, TAU or. Um, um, my Rover 90 uh, back from the paint shop uh, because the next stage after the paint shop is getting the interior done because uh, the, the interior is a bit uh, a bit worn out as well like everything else about the car um, but I uh, yeah. hope you found this interesting and uh, we'll be back uh, we'll be back soon